what makes something bodily horrific in particular. So there's something specific to it, and it seems to be like an interesting combination of disgust and nausea tinged with this unnatural unreality. Um, so one thing that I was thinking about when um, I was watching this movie and then to think about body horror in particular is, so when you're a child, oftentimes uh, you'll encounter something which you'll remember as an adult and you'll be like, oh, I knew what that was. But as a child, you didn't know what it was. And it was deeply unsettling and scary. And I wonder if something like this is at the root of body horror. So I'll give you an example. So I, um, in, when I was way too young, I watched uh, the first Terminator movie. And there's a part in the first Terminator movie when Arnold has been in a car wreck or something and his eyebrows have been singed off. And he's sort of waxy looking and he's got no eyebrows and he's, he's driving around. And, um, and I just remember it's a combination of that, his robotic nature and also like the acting and, and so on. But then also the film stock. There's something about the three things there that like combine to form this deeply unsettling feeling in me that I've never really shaken. And, and I could, I love Terminator. I go back and watch it all the time. But it's one of these things that I, when I think back at the experience of my watching as a child, I have this distinct emotional reaction to that that is almost like it's a nausea reaction um and i can't quite explain it in any way any way else but i was wondering if you guys if that resonate what i'm suggesting here resonates with you as a potential explanation for um you know what is horrific in the body yeah yeah um well i i think that experience that you had there is is to do with a few things but one of the things i think is the tangibility of the media you watched it in like the the fact that it was it was shot on film that there, there's something tangible about film and like I first watched Terminator on on a VHS and the connection you have with the film when you you're physically handling it and mm. and it's the connection you have with the you're putting it into the VCR you're making it happen mm. you're pressing play you're in control of the action that's something really tangible and it automatically transports you into this film almost which you don't get with um just like uh, like streaming, streaming. With netflix or something yeah um so I'm, I'm a big fan of vhs and i i've, I've got the brood on vhs for instance oh. and the um the tangibility and the connection that you have with physical media makes the film more horrific almost because you have you have that um physical uh proximity to it and for something like body horror it it affects you a little bit more because the transformation that these people are going through in in, in Cronenberg films, um, you feel like just the the transference of that could could happen to you because yeah. you've you've touched it. You you can catch whatever <laughs> they've got. Mm. Um, <laughs> That's interesting. I love that. Yeah, because when you were talking about VHSs, I immediately had a bunch of sense memories that came back to me. The smell of the VHS, <laughs> right? They've yeah. got that plastic tape smell to them. The sound if you shake it. Or the yeah. clamshell Disney movie. Like, I just got like a wave of sense memory when you mentioned <laughs> VHS. And that must be right that like the the memory of the movie, of the film, the story connected to all those sense memories that you don't get when you're just pushing, you know, when you're just clicking through your Apple TV or your computer exactly. in the same yeah. way. 